Now let's little bit go deeper into what really affects the performance of a computing system. So we have various components like software, hardware, even in the software we have like algorithmic component, we have programming languages, choice of programming language, choice of compiler, different revision of compilers and instructions to the architecture which affects the hardware, right? So in general, uh, general uh, generally speaking, that algorithm like which basically affects instruction count and CPI together okay it can it, it can if you take for example if you take like binary search versus uh, like another type of search you can think of uh, algorithm determines this number of instruction really in the implementation level will vary right and it may affect overall cpi when you are choosing slower instruction over the faster one stuff like that so algorithm affects that part in the performance measurement Whereas programming language is also affecting instruction count and CPI, so really depending on like you are doing a Python versus Perl versus C, C++, it certainly affect the program instruction and count. Remember, your high-level program ultimately will boils down to the low-level instructions or architecture, whether you are running Python or Java or C or C++, doesn't matter. It will become, it will be translated into the machine code, right? So, so depending on programming language, maybe uh, it will affect definitely like uh, what number of instruction count you will be executing through the program and in terms it will affect the CPI, right? Because CPI is a measurement, average measurement. So basically we run certain program and then look at this uh, individual, individual instructions performance and, and kind of average them out. So it basically depends on uh, the the reference program we are we are running there. Compiler is definitely instruction count and CPA again. So basically uh, saying that okay, different revision of compiler through the optimization levels and optimization improvement, it can its target is always to lower down the number of uh, assembly instruction. Right, that it generated. So efficiency of compilers definitely dictate the choice of instruction and optimization. And then as you are running the reference program, it can it can affect your overall CPI. Now instruction set architecture, of course, it will affect your instruction count and CPI and also clock rate because uh, it it instruction architecture is directly affects your hardware implementation right for example if you think of our project since we we kind of knowingly avoided addition of div instruction in our cs 147 dv instruction set architecture we could manage with a combinational alu and with a combinational alu we can manage a constant five cycle cpi in our processor implementation right so that means if then that is one part and other part is that being combinational i only need to take care of the slowest running circuit in the whole alu i need to take care of that right so and i need to make sure my clock period in is such a way is, is such an amount that it covers the slowest operation in the ALU okay so that affects my clock rate of course it has a pros and cons because combinational ALUs tend to be slower so we can improve the clock rate by going to the sequential ALU but go to by doing so what will be affecting is the cpi your our cpi will be sometimes becomes more than 5 it don't be a constant 5 anymore it will be varying with with instructions so instructions and architecture really affects your clock rate as well because it is affecting your underlying hardware now as a problem let's take a little complicated problem further 
let's say a computer has three categories of instruction, A, B, and C with CPI 1, 2, 3, respectively. Now, two division of compiler creates different set of instruction count per type of instruction. Let's say division 1 creates 2, 1, and 2 instruction per type A, B, and C where the revision 2 creates 4, 1, and 1 instruction part type of A, B, and C. So same program, let's say they are creating 2 A type instruction, 1 B type instruction, 2 a C type instruction, where version 2 creates 4 A type instruction, 1 B type instruction, and 1 C type instruction. Now which revision of compiler is providing faster implementation? So what we'll do, we'll basically look at the CPI and number of instruction of that group, right? So from group A to C, we are multiplying uh, one CPI for group A multiplied with two for compiler one, revision one, then CPI two multiplied by one and CPI three multiplied by two and we sum it up becomes 10. Now, revision 2, we do the same math, but with new number of instruction created per group. So, first CPI was, uh, yeah, actually it is, it is kind of reversely uh, like uh, typed. Basically, we are looking at, uh, no, not reversely, I'm sorry, sorry, the, let's not mix up. Okay. CPI for group A is 1 and we have four number of instruction, right? And then CPA for group two, group B is two, and we have now one instruction of that group, and CPA for three, uh, CPA for group C is three, and we have one instruction of that group, then we multiply them, sum it up, and it's become nine. So of course, number of cycles for revision two is nine, which is less than number of cycles computed for revision 1 of compiler which is 10. Hence the revision 2 provide the faster implementation.